one. An old man is talking about his school days. Listen and decide if the statements are true, T, false, F, or not given, N, G. I went to a village school. In fact, there was only one classroom for 15 students of different ages, both boys and girls, and one teacher who taught everything. The school didn't have a name, so we just called it our school. We used to walk to school. Some children went barefooted. At school, we learnt to read and to write. We also learnt a little maths and history. There were no science lessons and we didn't have exams either. Although our school was small, it had strict rules. We had to behave ourselves. We stood up and bowed to greet our teacher at the start of every lesson. We could talk only when we were allowed to. However, we had no homework and no extra classes. I had a lot of time to play outside and to help my parents in the house. I loved my school and those school days. Two. Listen again and fill the blanks with the correct information. I went to a village school. In fact, there was only one classroom for 15 students of different ages, both boys and girls, and one teacher who taught everything. The school didn't have a name, so we just called it our school. We used to walk to school. Some children went barefooted. At school, we learnt to read and to write. We also learnt a little maths and history. There were no science lessons and we didn't have exams either. Although our school was small, it had strict rules. We had to behave ourselves. We stood up and bowed to greet our teacher at the start of every lesson. We could talk only when we were allowed to. However, we had no homework and no extra classes. I had a lot of time to play outside and to help my parents in the house. I loved my school and those school days. Three. Make a list of the facilities you are using for your studies nowadays. Then take the ones you think was or were not available about 20 years ago. Four. Choose one facility which was not available 20 years ago and write a short description of how students in the past studied without that facility. One. Choose the best answer A, B, or C to complete the sentences. To A. Match the verbs in A with their definitions in B. To B. Use the verbs in A in their correct forms to complete the sentences.
3. Write true sentences about the practice of the following things in the past, using used to and didn't use to. Four. Read these situations and write wishes you want to make for them. Five. Look at the picture and finish the boy's wishes. Six. Rearrange the sentences to make a meaningful conversation.